Hello, Soul Family. It's been a while since I've recorded any videos. And uh, one that I want to share is I <laughs> ended up doing some psychedelics. Um, the first one um, that I tried was, um, I forgot the name something like ecstasy or something like that. Um, it has some letters. And then the next night I did the some mushroom tea. And so I wanted to share my experience because um, the one night that um, I did the ecstasy, I'm just gonna call it that or Molly or whatever. It was very interesting. Um, I channeled um, an Arcturian, and I've never channeled an Arcturian before. And very clear, crisp, um, and I could feel the difference um, in my physical body of taking that. Um, the channeling was still the channeling, even though I felt more present where that Arcturian was and what they look like, and um, so much so that I felt like I could feel um, the, uh, I guess you would call it material that they were wearing. It, was, it, it kind of looks rubbery, but it, I knew that it wasn't. So anyway, I um, don't remember the channeling, of course, uh, but it was really interesting. And more so was the next day going to the workshop that I was going to in Sedona. Um, and one of the booths had that Arc Arcturian there. And I looked over and I went, oh my God, that's who I channeled. Like that's exactly who I channeled. And this guy in the booth, that's who he channels. And so that was super interesting. And even more so was interesting was, um, I do remember <laughs> kind of being chastised uh, for taking this Molly or, whatever ecstasy and um not in a sense it was more like you know you don't have to do this you already travel and you already do this and I was like I know and you know I'm I'm having the experience so I can have the experience and you know kind of check it off my box <laughs> and um it it wasn't that it was something that I would ever want to go do again just because I, it, it wasn't really anything different, but if you haven't had those experiences, I can totally see why people, you know, wh why they do this. And so, um, so that, you know, it seems kind of vague, um, but it was, it was really just it, the whole experience was super kind of, you know, relaxed and chill, um, and, you know, very enjoyable, um, wasn't you know if you like smoke you know weed or whatever that you get high um where I've done that before and then I feel like I get too high and I like too spaced out so um I it's I can't smoke weed um just because I get too out in the ethers and this didn't make me feel like that so if I had a choice I'd don't know where to buy it but I would say oh I would do that actually over weed um if I was gonna have an experience but um anyway that that was my first one the next night um had mushroom tea and I ended up having like an acid trip and uh which mushrooms are not supposed to do that uh, you're supposed to get really grounded. Uh, this is just what people say. And of course I knew that I was kind of taking a risk um, because of who I am and what I know about myself and what I do and where I go and who I communicate with. And so, uh, but I really wasn't expecting everything that happened with that. <laughs> so that uh, I don't remember all of it. I do remember feeling like I was going to throw up the whole time, which was not pleasant. I thought if I move, I'm going to have to crawl on the ground to the bathroom because I will not be able to walk. And 
I'm, I'm gonna throw up the whole way. And so I did not want to do that. So I literally felt like I just have to sit here and wait this out. It was super multi, and, and it wasn't multi-dimensional. It was actually being within our own dimension and seeing everything that our eyes do not see. So it was like, I saw the, you know, our ley lines that go, they're, they're like white, um, uh, shadowy uh, lines that come down. Then I saw pixels everywhere. Not This didn't all happen at the same time, but, uh, you know, looking at the other person, I'm all, oh my gosh, I see all the pixels. Like, you know, the snowy TV, but they were all in color. They, they everything was in color. Um, and then I saw the matrix. Um, and then lines, you know, going across the top of us. And I thought, this is really interesting. Thank God I do not see this all day long. Because one, it would be exhausting. Um, and it was very interesting to see that. And I just kept thinking, oh my gosh, I would not want to see this. I, I mean, I would, you, you would almost feel like you would want to avoid like walking through the lines or walking through, you know, uh, you know, the, is, are the pixels there? Are they not there? <laughs> are they, you know, I mean, having that kind of weird, you know, trippiness that your mind is playing on you with, with the mushrooms. So I didn't, I, I could see these things, but I was very aware of that, that my mind was having this, this trip. And, you know, the other thing I could see was how the mind rolls over the information. So it felt like, uh, um, you know, the, the pictures that move and you stare at it long enough and then you see things that are moving. That's what they were showing the mind to be that our minds just kind of roll over and almost have this repetitive um, energy about it because it's just the brain. It's not, it doesn't do anything, but it, the energy that is associated with it is just repetitive until we make a change in it. So that was, it was really interesting. I think if I not felt like I was gonna throw up the whole time it would have been different. I really felt like I was on an acid trip. And um, so that part I didn't care for because I've never wanted to do LSD even before I was truly aware of all my um, abilities. And so I just didn't, it was not something that I ever wanted to do. So the fact that I had this when I was on shrooms, I never want to do that. Um, so the other part of of it was i mean um the intensity right in the beginning was super overwhelming um and i knew i knew with my every being and cell that i was i was out there i could see things i was going places i was having visions in fact, they showed me a vision that I had had the week before. And I thought, well, that's kind of interesting because, and I do, which is so, you know, I don't remember a lot of things when I'm in that realm, but this one I do remember was very, um, <laughs> I want to say technical, robotic, AI kind of uh, vision. And this I guess it was a robot, but it was in a human body and it was flying like, you know, um, the, like they had the jetpack, you know, a jetpack on the back. And so it was flying down um, and, and it came into this big square. And as I'm following it, I realized, oh, there's a bunch of them in there and it flew down into the square and then it backed up and got plugged in. And then they're all hanging. And even though the ground is open, um, they're all hanging there getting charged. And so I'm, everything is very industrial. It's all concrete. And I'm kind of at an angle looking at all of them. And then I see that there's other very industrial concrete buildings all to this whole side. And then 
I'm looking over to the right and I'm looking up and there's this huge chair. I mean, it's probably like five feet um, and it's gold and very beautiful. Um, I don't even know what the material is. It, I, it was shiny silk. I mean, it was just stunningly beautiful with um, like a, a very indigo color with gold um, designs through it. And the, the legs were gold and the, the um, side rails were gold. And, um, and so, um, and it's underneath this, this canopy and nobody's sitting in it. And then I'm looking at it going, well, that is seriously out of place. Like that bench, I mean, who, this is all very industrial and cement and, you know, gray. And then there's this beautiful bench. And so I'm looking at it and then I realize there's this robotic thing behind it that has long legs and it has these arms that come out oops, <laughs> arms that come out and and the the top part of it spins and looks at me and I went oh shit I'm caught <laughs> you know I'm seen and you know I've had those experiences before where I'm all uh oh, uh oh you know they know I'm here and without, I, I mean, as soon as I'm having this thought, one of the arms just reaches out, comes down and goes, pink, and picks me up like, like a cat, you know, by the back of my clothes, and then puts me right on that, like, bench. And it wasn't really a throne, um, but it, if it had a back or something like that, I would say it looked like a, a throne. And... As it was carrying me, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what, what is, what do I do with that? So, um, n and nothing, right? It just dropped me down and I'm sitting in it with my hands on my sides and I'm looking around. There's nobody there. So I don't know why there, this, this bench was there, this elaborate bench. It's not like there was people looking up or anything like that. So it was just super, super weird. Um, which, you know, coming from me. <laughs> It always cracks me up when I think things are weird. So then, uh, so that was one of the visions they had shown me. Um, there was a lot of, I, I was traveling through the galaxies, which is not uncommon for me to do. Um, and I kind of felt like I might have had a jetpack on because I seemed to be going really fast by in the galaxy and their planets um, and like cruising at a very fast speed, um, flying through the whole thing. I never landed on any of them. Um, but I do know that I was going out there and then all of a sudden, um, I got pulled back in and I thought, okay, I just got to sit here. I got to sit here. I can't go out anymore. If I go out any more than what I just did, I'm not coming back. Like I kept hearing that just, just hold on, just hold on to this line because it felt like that I hit a mark where the mushrooms got even more intense. And so I literally felt that I was holding something, but I wasn't, I just had my hands. And I do remember like, you know, shaking my leg uh, thinking, okay, okay. How long does this last? You know, three, three and a half hours. Great. Okay. Great. You know, okay, okay, we can get through this, we can get through this, you know, um, and so that was kind of, I had to hold on until, I, I don't know how much time, but I could tell that it was slowly starting to, to, um, uh, wear off, and I could not close my eyes. If I closed my eyes, I was just like that nauseous feeling, and, it felt like I just wasn't coming back. I, I cannot tell you. I, it just felt like, and I couldn't say it. Like, I, I didn't know how to describe what I was feeling, but I kept thinking, I'm just not coming back. I'm not coming back. I have to stay awake. I have to stay awake. Um, and then as it started wearing off, I could, uh, you know, s close my eyes and then I wasn't going to puke. And I could breathe a little bit deeper and relax and not, you know, fight whatever was, was going to come. Um, and I was able to engage and laugh and, 
and, and that part of it. But man, in the beginning, it was super intense that I'm not going to say that to, to my knowledge, people that I have talked to, the people that I was with, and hence the other people that I know that have done shrooms have all said to me, that's not what happens when people do shrooms. Like, that's just not the norm. And I'm all, I know, of course, everything that I do is not the norm. So I wasn't surprised, but I was kind of surprised that I felt like I was having an acid trip. Um, and so there that, but I did trust my guides. They did come in, they were talking to me. Um, they were giving me guidance. And so I felt like as long as I just kind of held this imaginary kind of like a rope, um, and, and I just kind of kept holding on to it and waiting, um, to let the intensity go that I was just going to be okay. And I don't really remember what my guides were saying. Some of them, you know, were kind of saying the same thing as that Arcturian, you know, this is why we don't, you don't need to do this, you know, and, and people were like, why did you do it? And I'm all, you, it wouldn't amaze you at how many people that do do the, those types of um, psychedelics would say, um, have you ever done them? That would be really interesting to see what would happen if you do them. So now I know. <laughs> now I would, I would love to be around a group that are on shrooms or even LSD or something so that I can follow along and see what happens with people and where they go and what they see. Um, I think that would actually be more enjoyable for me now going forward if that ever were to happen. Um, because it, um, I, it's really hard to explain how you feel that you can go out there and for some reason you just won't come back. It's a very, it's, it's almost, um, like a love hate relationship in a sense where your, your curiosity is going, but yes, where do you go? And then what happens is it does it happen to the brain? You know, what checks out, where do you go? And, and how come you can't come back? You know? So I had, I had all those questions, but I wasn't going to test that theory or those, that line of thinking or, you know, whatever I was going through. So, um, anyway, I, uh, well, just wanted to share because um, I do get a lot of people that ask me about that. And so now I know that I'm, I'm good. Um, I won't need to do them again. But um, yeah, that was an experience that um, I, I'm glad I had it. I'm so glad I had it. I, I'm, I'm glad that, you know, I did it in the environment that I did do it in and um, that and there's no more, it's not questioning so much, but it is just going, that's just an experience. So, you know, people are looking to, um, have a psychedelic experience. There's, you know, I, I feel right now that the veil is getting thinner and thinner. You, you don't need to have the psychedelics to go out there. Um, and, and we're seeing this more and more. Um, and so, but if there is a challenge with getting into that space or allowing yourself to really just go out there and see like what, you know, things are capable. Oh, that was the other thing. <laughs> the arms of the other people felt like, um, um, the, what's the elastic guy, um, the rubbery guy that his arms can go out and they're like rubber. Um, that's what everybody's arms look like to me. Um, so I had that even moment for a, a little bit and I, and it's funny because it's, it's such a out of ex body experience in a sense where you're looking at it going, that's weird that I, that's what I'm perceiving. But I also am thinking very clearly that that's really weird that I'm seeing. This. <laughs> so kind of having this, Hmm, I see that. I can tell that the psychedelics are making my eyes see that. And at the same time, I know that that's not real, but it's a trip to be able to clearly put in kind of perspective that you know that it's not real, but it's a trip even seeing it. So, um, <laughs> so 
anyway, um, it, you know, all, all good. It was all good. Um, but I don't recommend anybody just going out and doing them. Um, if anybody is interested, um, I do have someone in Colorado that, um, kind of, uh, helps the journey along if anyone is interested. So you can reach out to me and I'm happy to share, um, his information. Um, so, but you know, it's, it's not for everyone. Um, and, uh, it's, it's definitely different. So, um, anyway, that's my story on psychedelics. Um, and you all know we're all psychedelic, right? So anyway, all right, have a good one. Talk with you later. All right. Bye.